Hey, what's up, guys? Man, this is a bittersweet post fight for me, man. Uh, you know, on one hand, um, you know, I got great joy out of seeing uh, someone taking to school again, uh, another masterpiece. Um, I was happy in being proven right in what I said about the Hebrew hammer, man. Um, but on the flip side, I'm sad because I missed out on a tremendous opportunity, man. You know, uh, I did not know that the Hebrew hammer was even fighting last night. I had no idea until after UFC, I turned to HBO and I saw the end of the fight. You know, the the I mean, a, a few seconds left in the last round. I'm like, oh, that's the Hebrew Hammer, you know. Then I proceed to see the scorecard from Harold Letterman. And then I see the highlights of him getting knocked down and how this guy appeared to be a slick guy, this Eve uh, Ulysses guy. Man, uh... When 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 the odds came off of this fight, I checked on ProBoxingOdds.com. At my casino, the Hebrew Hammer opened as a minus three fifty favorite. More than three to one, minus three fifty now, over this guy, uh, this uh, Eve Ulysses guy, who opened as a plus two fifty underdog man. And when the fight went off, I think uh, Ulysses was like a plus one ten underdog, and uh, Hebrew Hammer was like minus one thirty at that point. So a lot of people went in on you on uh, Ulysses and made money, man. You know, to uh to Joe DeGuardia and Star Boxing Man, uh, you know, why in the hell would they put uh the Hebrew hammer in with this guy, man? You know, here I am, I am a longtime fan. All right. Longtime combat sports fan. Uh, you know, I'm sitting at home, I'm saying what I think about fights, break it down, guys. How is it that I'm not in the game? All right, I'm just outside. I'm just a fan. How is it that I'm not in the game? I can see what the Hebrew hammer is, and I know. I said after the first time I saw him, which was only what three, three or four rounds against Roberto Ortiz, you know, a month ago. I said what the Hebrew hammer was, man. If you go back to that post fight video, I went and looked at it uh, as I was watching this fight because I wanted to see exactly what I said. I said in that video, if the Hebrew hammer fought a skilled guy who could fight on the back foot. He would get exposed, man. You know, and that's, you know, that's just me seeing a guy fight for, for a handful of rounds, man, a few rounds. And I, I said what this guy was and what his limitations were, man. How is it that Joe DeGuardia and Starbucks are managing this guy's career, promoting this guy, and they're going to put him in with this, with this slick dude who had a ton of amateur experience, man. You know, a, 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 a young, slick guy, a guy who was 29 years old, who they say I don't know what his amateur career was. They say he started boxing in his late teens. But the guy had uh, a long amateur career, they said, man. He's what twenty nine and I think this was his what, uh maybe his sixteenth fight or something like that. You know? Man, uh, you know, this was this was terrible matchmaking, man, on on their part, man. They they put this guy they fed this guy to the wolves, man. Did HBO make a a, a you know, a monetary offer that was too good to pass up on? You know, was did they just want to get the guy some more exposure? They, you know, a quick turnaround, put him on another big card on HBO. I don't know, man. Hell, I'm 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 kind of asking to myself that they put this guy in there and 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 uh go to the bookies and load up on uh on uh Ulysses to win the fight, man. You know, and get kind of cash out on Hebrew Hammer, man. You know, that's terrible, man. That was terrible, and I wish, I mean, I wish I would have known about this fight. I wish I would have looked at it because I had never seen this uh, Eve Ulysses guy, man. I wish I would have, if I would have known about this fight and looked into this fight, man. You know, if I would have saw that this guy was a slick mover, man. You know, I would have, I, man, I would have went in on this big time. Plus 250, man. You know, it was a fucking gold mine, man. A gold mine. And uh, I missed out, man. But, you know, he, the Hebrew Hammer was exactly what I said he was, man. You know, this guy, uh, this 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 damn Eve uh, Ulysses guy was looking like a damn uh, a younger version of uh, Floyd Mayweather, a, a C version. You know, I mean, just the, his his body type, the way he punched, the way he moved, his defense. Uh, I mean, everything about his, his, his shit, his, his shoes, his socks, his legs. He looked like Floyd. He looked like a young Floyd in there, man. At one forty, man. You know, not 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 as fast, but moving around the ring, being slick, man. He took this guy to school, man, you know. 
uh, and, and the, this old guy in the Hebrew Hammer's corner telling him that, uh, you know, the first knockdown wasn't knockdown. That wasn't knockdown. Man, what the fuck? Get out of here with that, man. Hell, the, the the right hand stunned the bad. He was on the verge of going down. The left came, and he went down, man, you know. And uh, then later on in the fight, he's uh, telling them that the ref's doing a bad job. You know, making excuses instead of telling them what it, what it is and giving them good instruction. Then his his other big-time instruction is uh, toward the end of the fight, telling them, uh, when you get in close, say to him, come fight me, you lazy fuck, or something like that, you you uh, you, you, you lamey fuck, whatever he said, man. Like, that was his big-time instruction, man, to get close to all trash this guy, you know. And as, as I'm watching the fight, uh, you know, I think that was the third round when Hebraham got knocked down again, and he, he was so embarrassed, he, he was on the, on the canvas, he grabbed the guy's leg and shit, trying to do a single leg like he was in the UFC. Hell, he might want to get out of boxing to get in the UFC, man. Uh, hell, you know, with, with the kind of power he has and the smaller gloves. Uh, hell, if, if, if he wants to wrestle and grab legs, man, hey, you can do that You can do that shit in the UFC. But, you know, as I'm watching the fight, uh, it got to the seventh round. And I'm saying, you know, he's he's following this this Eve. You list a guy around the whole fight like a puppy dog. That's my saying when guys are following, you know, like when Canelo was following Law around the whole fight. Just following around like a little puppy dog, man. And, uh, you know, so the seventh round comes, and sure enough, the Hebrew Hammer goes to the middle of the ring, and he stands there. I'm like, oh, shit, look at him. He, he, he's smart enough now. He's not going to follow the guy around. And, uh, you know, he, uh, I had to pause. But, yeah, so sure enough, he, uh, you know, he's uh, standing in the middle of the ring waiting for the guy. And uh, he, uh, he did it for a while. But then eventually he, he he mentally broke, and then he started following him around again. Cause Ulysses was not gonna stand in the pocket with him. He started. He kept moving around. He was not going in the pocket. And then Hebrew Hammer, he he got tired of waiting, and then he he started following him around again. You know. <laughs> so you know he uh, you know men- mentally broke. He did not he did not stand in the middle of the ring. He should just stay in the middle of the ring and dare him to come in, man. He didn't have to follow that guy around, you know. I mean, he was down on scorecards big time at that point, but you know, I mean, it was it was not working the whole fight following the guy around, man. And uh, then what happened in in the uh, eighth round? Hell, Ulysses goes to into the corner. His coach tells me the crowd not liking it, so hell, Ulysses actually starts standing in the pocket with the Hebrew Hammer, man. You know, he he actually doesn't move. He kind of throws the Hebrew Hammer off, and then hell, Selden he clams up. He does. He's not letting his hand. The guy's right in front of him, and then he's not letting his hands go. And then he, hell, even he's starting to back up in the fight. You know, I mean, terrible man. You know, so you know the uh, lack of experience, pro experience, amateur experience. Um, you know, man. I mean, it was a nightmare for the guy, man. Why would they put this? Why would they put the Hebrew Hammer in with this with this young slick brother, man? You know, I don't know. I don't get it, man. It makes absolutely no sense. It was, you know, hell, Jim Lampley saying that, that we might not see the Hebrew Hammer on HBO no more, and and that this was they were showcasing the guy before the fight, you know, instead like they usually do. They they talk about both fighters, they have interviews with both fighters, unless I'm unless I'm forgetting, there was no interview with with Eve uh, Ulysses, not at all. They did not talk about the guy nothing. I, so we had no idea about him going into the fight as far as watching the HBO telecast, man. You know, it was all about the Hebrew hammer. You know, it, it was just highlighting him. It was all about him and his hammer heads and shit. You know, they was they was trying to lift this guy, make him a star, man. You know, create you know create, create somebody that they can put on HBO, man, on regular. But man, he got all class bad, man. You know, so I think it's gonna be back to the you know back to the kind of the uh, local circuit. Uh, he, you know, I don't think he'll be on HBO anytime soon, man, unless they put. Put him in there with somebody made to order for him, you know. Uh, you know, we might not see him again anytime soon, man. So, uh, you know, I think that's it, man. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm openly asking Star Boxing, why, why would you guys put put this guy in there with this guy, man? You know, hell, you know, did did they go to the sports books and put some on Eve Ulysses to win this fight, man? You know, Ibrahim got outclassed bad, man.
he got out class bad. Uh, you know, uh, hell, if 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 this dude Ulysses would have opened up even more, yeah, he he probably could have got a, a a stoppage on this guy, man. If he if he had faster hands and if he just would let his hands go more, you know, he probably could have closed the show on Ibrahim, man. You know, bad. And I'm you know this guy seems to be a good prospect. I'm gonna look into this guy, man. Uh, he he only lost one fight, and that was earlier this year. He lost, uh, I think, I think the guy's name was Steve Taggart or something like that. The fight is on YouTube, and I will be watching that fight. I I, ha I have uh, put it in my watch later folder. I will watch that fight, man, and uh, I might do a post fight. Uh, I think they said he he lost a split decision in that fight. So I'm 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 gonna look at that fight. I'm gonna break that fight down and see if this guy is really undefeated or if he indeed lost that fight. But uh, yeah, I I would love to see this guy more more of this guy, man. Uh, I, I don't know who I like to see him fight. I look, you know, look at uh, 140, see what's going on. But uh, yeah, I, I like to see this this slick guy fight again, man. You know, uh, look that. Oh, look now, I'm looking at the, the takedown by <laughs> Hebrew Hammer. He was so embarrassed, man. You know, this was bad, man. This was bad, bad, bad. Uh, and a, a big, big time missed opportunity by me, man. Big time. I had no idea that Hebrew Hammer was fighting. And uh, I knew I knew nothing about this guy until this uh, Eve Ulysses guy until I saw the end of the fight, you know. Just a big, big missed opportunity, man. Uh, at a plus two fifty, man. Public hype that they against the casinos. They saw that they overrated uh, Cleta Seldon. They put had him a high favorite. I guess they figured the, the public would put money on him. And this Eve Ulysses guy took him to school bad, man. You know, Rob Box Rick says he's number one ranked. Uh, 140 pound in Canada, and they have number 14 uh, in the world, man. You know, I I don't know if those rankings change after the fight or what, but uh, man, if I only knew, guys, big time missed opportunity by me. So that's it, man. He Hammer, he was exactly what I said he was, man. Fun fighter to watch. Come forward, guy. You know, with power, all this and that. But if he fought a skilled guy, who could fight on the back foot. He get exposed, man. He did so. That's it, man. You know, if you saw this fight, let me know what you think, man. If I miss anything, I'll leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, I'll check in with you guys soon, man. Thanks for watching.